smooth paper. Uh, and that maybe is the reason why, uh, I mean, most definitely that is the big reason why the stock has done well, uh, not the paper as such. We'll, uh, so they stay with us. We'll take a very quick break here. We are going to come back. Uh, we'll uh, uh, play out uh, sound bites from Mark Matthews of uh, Bank Julius Baer, who we spoke with earlier. Uh, he says that the PCE data, the inflation number that uh, we get in the US later on Friday will be important. Uh, and that basically will determine what the Fed does in September as we head into that particular meeting. We are back in just a bit. If you aggregate all of the central banks uh, and what they've done over the last year, they've tightened more than in any time uh, going back 50 odd years. And that leads the purchasing managers indices. Central bank tightening or loosening leads the PMIs. So we shouldn't be surprised that they are uh, below 50 and they are going down. The global economy is slowing down. And I don't think a month or two ago, if you'd told anybody that was going to happen, they'd be surprised. A very important number will be both the PCE inflation reading that comes out half an hour before he speaks, and then the CPI, which uh, if it's a hot number, then I think people would price in 100. If we have a recession, the market will go back and test uh, its previous low, possibly even new lows. That's what history tells us. If we look at the average of uh, bear markets since World War II that were accompanied by recessions, you had an initial bounce like the one we had of about 20% or so, and then, and then it fades. If we don't have a recession, then I think we'll keep going higher, uh, possibly not in September, as I said, but, but over the next three, six, 12 months. My hunch is that will be the case because I think the labor market is just too strong to have a recession. If it is, it'll be extremely mild. The dollar is so strong and you don't tend to see uh, uh, global investors buying emerging markets in a strong dollar environment. And my sense is that the dollar will ultimately hit 110. Well, we're not far from that. But until that happens, um, I don't really see uh, big foreign inflows here. Among the major emerging markets, this one is the best. There are smaller ones that are good, like Vietnam or Indonesia, but they're very small compared to this one. So I think that's a positive for this market. And I also think that, just as I said in my meetings with industrialists yesterday, a sense of a strong uh, capex cycle that's kicking in now, because the last 10 years were very, very subpar growth years for India, a combination of the non-performing assets, keeping the banks from lending and um, all of the reforms, which they, it took a while for the small and medium-sized enterprises to get used to. But now that's behind us. I, I do think that uh, you're going to have a strong economy and uh, high earnings growth, and um, typically that leads to higher stock prices.